like a lot of you guys out there, I went to the store, saw the plants on the shelf, it's springtime, and I'm all excited. So I went and bought a ton of plants, only to come to the realization that uh, I actually can't stand digging and putting them in the ground. It takes forever. So start thinking about it. there's got to be a better way. Started watching Facebook like I always do and boom, pops up all these infomercials on. Look at how easy it is to plant plants using an auger and a drill bit. So today we're gonna review this auger kit that I have and see how easy is it really? So this is the auger bit set that I chose to buy off of Amazon. I chose to buy this one because it came with three different sizes and the majority of them online only had two different sizes. So I, I just kind of wanted to see if I got more bang for my buck with this. Now I've got a couple of concerns. Number one, is there enough power in the drills, the battery operated drills to make this worth it? The second concern is pretty simple. Is it actually going to save us some time? Uh, third concern would be, are the auger bits strong enough to handle everything? And the fourth concern is, Am I going to ruin my wrench or am I going to ruin the auger bits? Am I going to waste my money? But let's dive right into this, figure this all out, see if we can't save you at home some time and money. Now this kit is very simple. There's actually not a lot to it. Pretty impressed. Super heavy duty. All steel. It's got a solid point tip on it. This thing is not going anywhere. Super, super simple. Um, let's check out number two. This is the four inch size and this is our three. And again, you get a little bit of a height difference. This one's 16 inches total. This one is 12 inches and the hex head on this is three eighths. So it's going to fit most standard drills. Nothing too bad. Royce, what do you think, buddy? And then this little itty bitty guy, I'm not too sure how practical this is gonna be other than for small gardens, as if you were starting a garden and you had some small garden starts. We're talking less than two inches in diameter, so it's about an inch and a half. Um, but all three of these, solid steel. I really don't think you could drop it, kick these things, they're not gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> Always some surprises. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, however, uh, not sure uh, you've seen this before, but uh, I did not kill that woman. The glove does not fit. Too soon. Installation super super simple with these devices, and then you're going to tighten this up, and that's it really. There's, there's nothing else to it. It's super secure. Now, for some reason you're concerned about how heavy this is, it's not gonna be too much heavier than a regular uh, drill set, but you do want a certain amount of weight going into the ground. That actually helps out. This is an 18 volt, hence the M18. Uh, my concern was is if we need to go to a 20 volt, so I figured I'd try the M18 first. We'll figure out where this goes. If the 18 volt's fine, I do have concerns with anything less than 18 volt, uh, but we'll see. Let's see how this performs first, and then we'll go from there. Now, one factor that actually is going to make a difference is soil type. Now, I have really hard compact clay here in Utah with where I'm at we have pockets of a lot of rocks. Now, this is an auger. We're not gonna go through the rocks. Matter of fact, I anticipate if we hit the rocks, it's not gonna go very far. But the best thing that you could do, soak the soil a little bit, make sure it's got enough water in it before you start this process, but not overly damp so it gets extremely sloppy. Safety first, put my, my awesome glasses on. Ooh. Oh, well that was promising. There's two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> it may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm doing the best that I can with what I was given. Right, so we got one here, boom, and guess what? We are done.
Number two here. Got three, four, six. That was fast. That was real fast. Absolutely love it, but I did want to show you, just like I anticipated when you hit rock, it does absolutely nothing. It just kind of stalls out. Nothing bad is happening. It just kind of wants to break your wrist, you know? But, but it won't go anywhere. So that all but took like two minutes, seriously. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if I had some sort of a trowel and a shovel, it still would have taken 15 minutes and it's really annoying. This has been great. Now, the only downside, really, a lot of mess. Nothing, my uh, sprinkler, just putting the hose on it. You know, not sprinkler, but putting the hose on it won't fix. So these awesome plants that I have here, they come in a grid that's like 10 inches by 10 inches squared. So this is obviously only four inches. I'm gonna poke four holes very close to each other. I kind of just want to see if we can really just uh, drill this out <laughs> or auger this out the way it's intended to use. I am going to be scooping the dirt away just to see how well it goes, see if it's worth it or if it's just worth using a shovel. So the biggest problem that we're running into in this section is just rocks and it's really slowing me down. I've got about, uh, I don't know, three, four minutes into this right now. <laughs> I'm anticipating I'm gonna have a little bit more time here. Woo. Done. So, on to plant number two. This time I'm just gonna use the shovel. Let's check it out. Okay, so the shovel was obviously faster. Like, save me 50% of the time when we get to these bigger plants. But the major issue is the soil isn't mulched and tilled up, so it makes it harder to put back. I have hard compact clay. This clay is no joke and it didn't get ground up finally. So it's, it's proven to be much more difficult to put back behind the plant. This is some of the soil from the white plant and you can see that clay is little pebbles. Almost is really malleable. Everything's good where I didn't get that same reaction over here in this soil. Now when it comes to putting in plants that have a footprint greater than four inches in diameter, definitely best to use a combination of the auger and a basic shovel. Now I'm kind of shocked, but it did exactly what I thought. It was going to grind up the hard compact clay that I have. It also made it very easy to shovel everything out and to put the soil back, compact it along. And now we have one very happy ginger, one very happy plant. So here's my conclusion. This was a happy little project. Now, if you have between 15 and $30 burning in your pocket, these are fantastic tools. However, I highly recommend you get at least an 18 volt drill, or if you have a 20 volt drill, cordless even better, or any corded drill would work just fine. The auger bits are gonna last. I had a little bit of wear and tear where I didn't get the auger bit tight enough at the very end where it goes into the drill, where it's stripped ever so slightly. That is primarily due to the fact that the Milwaukee drill that I was using wasn't staying tight enough. Uh, as for the drill bits themselves though, they're pretty solid, more user error because it wasn't paying enough attention. Um, I was kind of surprised when we got to the bigger plants. You really have to drill four different ways. If you had super rocky soil, this really isn't gonna help out a ton because every time it hits rocks, it's not meant like a hammer drill. It's not gonna break that out. Um, if you're an elderly person, you're gonna love this. However, if you get into it and the drill gets stuck, it's going to torque on your arm a little bit. That's a little bit annoying. But for the most part, it made planting so easy. I'll never go <laughs> plant without these auger bits and the infomercials. They're true, I'm kind of shocked. All the links are in the description of the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Till next time, guys, it's the Pest and Lawn, Jiu-Jitsu. We're slaying lawns.